So today, we're going to do part two of surrender in your marriage. If you didn't see the first one, and even the word surrender it makes you want to turn this off, then maybe that's the exact reason why you need to keep it on. Right? Surrender in your marriage. How to have a Christian, biblical marriage. How to improve your marriage. So first off, my question for you is, could you be getting in the way of God? Are you taking the role and responsibility to change your husband, right? Do you believe that's your role? And maybe you don't actually believe it in your mind, but are you acting like it's your role to change your husband? Are you constantly pointing out what he does wrong? And maybe you don't say it with your mouth, but you, you keep track in your mind. You know all his shortcomings, right? You know all the things he doesn't do that you don't like. And are you getting in the way of God? And how you could be getting in the way of God is one, saying it out loud. But even if you don't say it out loud, if you let those shortcomings begin to change how you are as a wife, you might be getting in the way because you might be perpetuating the behavior that you don't want. So when you think about your husband or when I think about my husband, I think about all his flaws, all the things that he's not good at. And I might share, hey, if you could, babe, would you be willing to do this for me? Or can you show up in this way? But I'm not in resistance to reality. I see Skylar, who's my husband, as he is. Guess what? This is how he is. He's going to say he's going to do something sometimes and forget that he said it sometimes. He's going to get busy and change stuff last minute, which is totally not my personality, sometimes right? He's going to parent my kids different than me. He's going to do a lot of things in life different than me. And I used to take on this role that I'm supposed to change him, right? That, so I couldn't submit to him. Like I didn't, I didn't like how he was because it wasn't me right in the beginning. Like I had a very self-righteous view of myself and thought that it was my job to change him, my job to point out all the things he did wrong in my standards, right? And so do you let God be God with him? Are you going to the Lord and praying and getting yourself right and focused on yourself, right? Are you focused in situations where there's conflict or when you guys get stuck in an area about what your part is, or are you super focused on your spouse and everything they did wrong and how they didn't show up? And do you blame them for the state of your marriage? So that'd be an indication that I would need to turn it back and say, hey, what's my part to play here? Yes, they have a part, right? But am I letting God change Skylar or am I acting like it's my job to change Skylar? So I know that in relationships where a wife is maybe has an unhealthy control or she's been trying to change Skylar, when she backs off, there's gonna be this period where the husband doesn't know what to do, right? If they're used to you doing everything for them, they don't even dress themselves, right? You dress them, then they'll start asking, hey, honey, what should I wear, right? And there's gonna be this point where they don't understand what's going on. And so wives, this would be a great time for you to communicate and say, hey, I noticed that I've been too much in your business. I noticed that I, like, I feel overly in your life. Like I'm overly just in everything with you and I'm backing off because I love you. I'm backing off because you're God's, right? And when I have this perspective that my husband is God's, I can deal with his sin more effectively, right? I can deal with, Skylar hasn't struggled with porn in a long time, but when he did, I used to take it personal, right? But when I know he's God's, right, and that's his sin, and that that's between him and the Lord, I was able to detach my identity from it, right? I wasn't, I, and it would hurt me so much or hurt the relationship because that's God's to work on. And so you might want to communicate if you begin to back off on some stuff, why you're backing off and show up in love. Because more than anything, more than likely, even if your husband's a successful dude, your opinion of him matters. He cares that you don't just love him. I believe he cares if you like him. So if you were honest with yourself, do you act like you love your husband? Yeah, you love him. You're going to be married. 
but do you like him? Like, does he know that you like him, right? That's a different relationship when my husband knows that I like him and he knows that I love him. In a relationship like that, there's way more grace. And so do you need to bring grace into the equation and turn the lens? Like, it's just an opportunity to turn the lens on you and where is God trying to grow you? And so the way that I keep my lens on me is whenever I get triggered and something comes up for me, I check in, okay, what was that about? Even if Skylar was involved in the triggering moment, I go to my journal or I call a friend that will speak truth into me, not just agree with everything that I say, and I'll journal through, what was that about? <laughs> what could have motivated that? Like, what? Am, and then I also go through, what am I trying to prove right right now? And oftentimes when it comes to Skylar and I'm working through a trigger, what I'm trying to prove right is that I can't trust him or that I shouldn't lean in or I'm proving right that this is a reason why I should withdraw or I'm not lovable. Like I, I have a few triggers that come up, right? But when we get into a situation, the easy thing would be to blame him and make it all about him. But that's so not the truth. The enemy would want you to stay in that place that it's about him. But I believe the Lord is calling you back to, hey, you know what? What's my part in this? And can you be the bigger person to lean in and maybe apologize first? And great intimacy can be built if you can then share, hey, what came up for me when you said this was, was this, 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 and this, and let him into your emotional life. Let him into what triggers you, like what's going on in you. I used to have the hardest time even sharing when I was frustrated, right? Or when I wasn't perfect, it was hard for me to share with Skylar. And now I openly, to ask for grace, like the last couple days, I said, hey, I'm struggling right now. I feel pissy, I feel irritable, no, no, no one can do anything right. And I don't want to create division in us. So can you give me a little bit more grace? The old me would have just focused on all the things that were making me upset and took no responsibility for my feelings and my emotions. So I have to, I have to re-ground in, hey, what's my part in this? So we started out this video with surrender, right? And, but so much of surrender is having an accurate picture of reality of this is them and are you allowing God to work in them? And then this is me and this is my part in, I, in my part being an imperfect person. Sometimes I used to hold this standard of perfection to Skylar that I didn't even hold my, to myself when I was actually honest. The same things I got upset at him at I, in another way, didn't look the exact same, was not showing up in, right? So if they don't show up for you, if you turn that back onto yourself, how are the ways that you're not showing up for him, right? If you're willing to look at that, then this is how you take your marriage to the next level and have greater connection and greater intimacy. And so for some of you, my challenge would be to um, pay attention to the results. Are you, do you have peace? connection, joy, and satisfaction in your marriage. And if you don't, then this might be something you need to watch a couple times because in every interaction, I want to choose peace and connection. But sometimes my thinking gets in the way and I don't. I feel stress and frustration and disconnection. So that's just a great indicator that it's not about him for me and I lean into myself and check in with what's going on with me. So whatever stood out to you, I'd love to hear. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe for more great videos on marriage, intimacy, passion, and oneness in marriage. So I can't wait to be with you again soon.